Jim in Yarnell, Arizona. Hey, Jim, what's up? Well, I'll tell you, I just I want to say first, I'm so glad for your program and uh, your uh, light in the world. Well, thank you. Okay, that said, I'm, uh, you know, the national debt, every time I turn around, I see the American family owes, what, $122,000. Yeah, the average person, I've forgotten what 36 is, or anyway. 36 and change. But, you know, we do and we don't, you know. Well, what, but here, my question is, yeah. uh, what's our share of America's wealth? Why, yeah. why don't they Excellent mention question. that, right? Right. And and, the, and America's wealth, dollar year GDP, it's, it's probably, you know, hundreds or thousands. It's got to be thousands of trillions of dollars, whatever that is, gazillions of dollars. <laughs> and when you figure our natural resource, I mean, what's the Grand Canyon worth? You know, what's... Yeah. And, and now you got the governor of Utah saying, "Well, we could balance the budget by selling off some of our federal, some of the uh, the land that the state owns." Right? We're going to sell off our canyons and our forests and our uh, our mountains. And I mean, this is insane. This oh, well, is this is Teddy Roosevelt, the Republican. Well, this is his legacy. Yeah. Well, the the, the Republicans have strayed so far. But I, another question then along this national debt thing: uh, What is the wealthy's uh, share of the national debt? I mean, if they've got all the money, uh, don't they uh, have? Uh, more of the debt. I mean, oh, that's if they're going to look at this country like a corporation, sure. then uh, uh, where's the uh, balance sheet? I want to see the liabilities and the assets. Well, if the top 90 percent, the top, or the top 1 percent of Americans own 90 percent of the wealth in America. They ought to owe 90 percent of the debt, don't You're, you think? You would think, yeah, which, which yeah, makes your and my share a whole lot of, smaller. That'd be kind of fair. You <laughs> there know. you go. Very well said. Jim, thank you for the call, and thank well, you. Well, one more comment. Okay, if yes, Republicans sir. Republicans continue to mess with the debt ceiling to the point of affecting the U.S. credit rating. Yeah. Okay, and they they crash this thing. And they may I well. Mean, our economy and the whole trip, if they do that, they're not going to have to worry about running in 2014. There won't be a Republican Party when the people get done with them. I, you know, it's looking increasingly like that's just like these guys are self-immolating. And, yeah. uh, you know, well, look at the, you know, Scott Brown. Uh, it, unfortunately, they're going to immolate more than just themselves. With that's the, the tragedy. I mean, they're taking everybody with them. I mean, yeah. who are these egotistical idiots? Yeah, well, that's that's who they are. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and they're in the pockets. They're in the employ, basically, of, of you know, a couple of dozen, maybe maybe, I don't know, five or six dozen, oligarchs in the united states you know the major ceos who, who literally make hundreds of millions of dollars a year and and in some cases billions of dollars a year and 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 are buying and selling politicians and 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 the supreme court made it all possible and it is if we don't do something about it in the next couple of years frankly i think that you know I, we've only got a couple of years to do something about it i think i think you're absolutely right well, in fact uh, if they don't raise the debt ceiling and our uh uh, uh, all of a sudden, uh, interest rates and the price of foreign, the t dollar tanks and all this stuff. Yeah, there is going to be such a mess in this country. The Republicans are going to be sorry they ever even uh, yeah. began thinking of the, such an idiotic. Stuff. Yeah, it'll be a genuine Herbert Hoover moment. You know, my theory is that they've been trying to trash the economy in order well, to have a bad economy for Obama, so that he'll take the blame for the bad economy and he'll be oh, thought yeah, of as Herbert gonna, Hoover. But I don't think it's going to work. They're willing to take the whole country down so that they can win. Hey, this is what this is what Mitch McConnell said two years ago that they were going to do when when yeah. Obama got elected. He said, you well, know, we're going to obstruct you. every effort of his to do anything. In other words, to fix the economy, it, well, because yeah. because in 2012 we want him to be a one-term president. Jim, I got to move along, but thank you for the call. Very very well said.